All right? So it gives you kind of feel for both sides. Now we're gonna repass. All right, so I'm gonna shoot a double leg. Partner's gonna pass my leg. I'm gonna float and repass. See some people have struggling walking on their hands? Again, something you've probably never done before. All right, the more we do it, the better we're gonna get at it. All right, so I'm gonna double leg. He's gonna pass my leg. I'm gonna float, keep my chest over his legs, and I'm gonna repass his leg. Okay, so double leg. He's gonna pass, I'm gonna float, float, float. Right when his belt buckle starts to face the mat is my window to repass, okay? I can't wait till he gets me trapped to a hip and starts wrestling here and then I'm thinking about repassing. That window of opportunity is gone, okay? So as he's starting to belt buckle to the mat is when I attack, okay? Notice, I'm diving out, getting two hands to it, getting elbow deep as quick as I can. If you can dive out and get elbow deep right from the jump, no problem, okay? But I want it close to my body, same thing. I'm just driving, feet, passing, and this guy's gotta learn to let go and walk on his hands too, all right? If I can pass his leg, he can pass my leg, technically we could go on forever, all right? But we'll learn how to ankle duck, and it'll be a whole different, whole different situation. Once we start ducking ankles, there's no more leg passes. But we gotta, gotta build these tendencies so we can be dangerous in all these positions. So I'm a double, he's gonna pass, I'm gonna float, 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 repass, right here. Now, when I repass, sometimes this guy won't be on his horse, he did a pretty good job of following, so I'm gonna go with our first finish, okay? Just blocking with my knee, squaring up, leg halfing, getting to his legs or getting towards his, getting towards his head. Now if I burn him, we're just gonna knee slide out the back door and pick his foot up. Okay, so it's your normal, everyday, traditional knee slide, head up, back straight, pick the foot up, turn into him, all right? That's only if I start getting to finish my leg pass and he's not over my legs, okay? So double, he passes, float, 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 and I burn him. See how I get to this position, knee slide up. I'm tall, I like my chances here. One thing I don't want you to do is leave your foot up here, so knee change. He's not close to my legs. Another thing, I don't want you to, I want you to fight the urge to change hands, okay? When I change hands, he kicks out. When he kicks out, that's all gone. Back. When I have his foot here, it starts on my right ear, it stays on my right ear. All I do is think single leg finish. Get my hands above his knees, okay? Or double, hands above the knees is what I'm fighting to get to. Just wrestle through that position. We don't get style points in wrestling, unfortunately. Okay, any questions? Anybody need to see it again? It's all the exact same technique we've been doing. We're just building better tendencies through this sequence. Double leg. He starts to pass, let go, float, 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 attack, punch. If he's not over my legs, he slide out the back door. If he is over my legs, then finish like we've been finishing. Don't finish here. Knee change. Keep that foot on that side. Finish how you finish there. Just wrestle through that position. Super slow, go.